special schools in this segment's edition of Ask Miss Melinda. Students from Daisy Bates Elementary are featured in this week's question. And a fun fact for you, our reporter Kayla Christian, well her mom is the principal of Daisy Bates Elementary and she is absolutely fantastic. So we read The Very Cranky Bear and we talked about our jobs here at Channel 7. And our question this week comes from a student named Chloe. Hi Miss Melinda, my name is Chloe. I got a question. What made you choose the career in meteorology? All right, Chloe, thank you for the question and good job on meteorology. I've messed that up all the time. You did a great job. Well, I wanted to let you know, first of all, I didn't grow up wanting to be a meteorologist. I actually liked writing and storytelling until this happened. This was in 1990, way before you were born, Chloe, when downtown Hot Springs flooded. I had worked all day producing news, but went over there with a photographer as literally cars were floating down the street. No one was killed in these uh, floods. So that's pretty amazing, yeah. So we spent the whole night there. Uh, the next day went straight back into work, stayed up for two days, uh, covered these for Arkansas as well as national news. And I was just amazed at the power of weather and storms and how quickly this had come up. That's Central Avenue uh, back th that night in uh, May of 1990. Then a few years later, I was actually on the Gulf Coast, thought I was having a good time and vacation. When this happened, Hurricane Opal came on. It wasn't a direct hit where I was, but this was what happened where I was. The storm surge brought sand all over the roadways, parking lots, the wind uh, took down power lines as well. And so I reported on that too. I came back to Arkansas and I, think, I said, I think weather's my thing. So that's when I went back to school for three more years to get certified as a meteorologist. And that's what I have done ever since. So big weather events made you want to go into weather. Yes, I think so. And I think that's the case for a lot of meteorologists. A lot of times it happens when they're kids mm -hmm. though, and they get interested in storms. It just took me a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, and I think that's a good lesson as well. We said earlier, sometimes you don't figure it out for a little while exactly where you belong and what you want to do. That's so true. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it takes you one or two or three careers to, to finally find the one that fits, and it fits you so well. Oh, thank you. So thank you. Well, let's talk a little bit about weather coming in tomorrow. It won't look like that, but Good. we 